Hey guys, I'm Christopher JMUA and welcome back to my channel. Unless you've never been here, of course, then welcome. I'm so glad you've stopped by. Today, we're going to be unboxing and trying on, potentially, the July 2021 Ipsy Glam Bag and Glam Bag Plus. So if you'd like to know a little bit more about Ipsy Glam Bag and Glam Bag Plus, if you'd like to see what products I get and what kind of look potentially we create with the products inside then stay exactly where you are keep doing exactly what you're doing and keep on watching Now before we actually unbox the box, I want to let you guys know a little bit about Ipsy. Ipsy is a beauty subscription service of which you get three options. There's the Ipsy Glam Bag. That one is $12 a month with five deluxe size samples valued at over $50 and also has a super cute makeup bag to keep it all in. Next is the Glam Bag Plus. That one's $25 a month, contains five full size items and is valued at over $120. And that bag comes in a drawstring bag instead. Then last, we've got Ipsy Glam Bag X. That one is $55 every quarter, so every three months. It contains seven to eight full-size products and is valued at up to $350. And those bags are always specifically curated by beauty's biggest tastemakers and celebs. Now with all the information about Ipsy conveyed, let's get to unboxing. Now in case you're new here, hi. I'm Chris, it's so nice to meet you. And I like to unbox my beauty subscription boxes mystery box style. Ipsy did send this to me to review for you guys. That being said, I wanna let you know that I haven't seen any spoilers for this month. I don't even know the theme for this month yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and set this box to the side, open it up and see if we can find the little paper on top without seeing all of the products at once. I just love to keep it a mystery, you know? Makes it more fun, more interesting. But do we have a paper? Okay, I found a paper. Yes. Looks like the theme for this month is Stay Golden. So I'm guessing golden products. This month, everything you touch is turning to gold. Dust on your favorite highlight, pat on a shimmer shadow, and let the world see you shine. <laughs> That's cute. Now, I do feel the actual glam bag. So we're going to go ahead and pull that out first, see what the bag looks like, and open up the products inside. So what's the bag? That is an interesting bag. Okay, personally, I really don't like this bag myself. It just reminds me of that old school, like late 70s furniture. You know what I mean? The yellow couches, the yellow chairs or golden, I guess. It just reminds me of that. It looks dingy-ish, if that makes sense at all. To me, that's my own preference. But I also don't like gold jewelry either. I'd rather get steel or platinum or even white gold rather than gold. Anyway, I digress. That's what the bag looks like. Now let's see what products are inside. First and foremost, we've got Briogeo Superfoods Avocado and Kiwi Mega Moisture Hair Mask. I love these masks. We actually had Briogeo as our featured brand of the month at Ulta in the salon probably about three months ago now, and I got to try this mask among a couple of other masks. I gotta say firsthand, these masks really, really help with dry hair. If you have dry, frizzy, breaking hair, this helps so much with that. Both of their masks work well with that. Plus, they smell amazing. So we have one hair item. Let's see what's next. It Cosmetics Lash Blowout. I have not tried this. I'm assuming it's a mascara, maybe? Just says good lash day in black at the bottom. So I don't know. Okay, let's see if it's black like a mascara or white like a primer. Ooh, okay. It does look like a mascara and the brush actually looks pretty decent. It's not very widespread, so I bet it's going to add a lot of thickness and volume versus length. Just a guess though. Don't know yet. Let's see what else there is. Another squeezy tube. Tarte Sea Quench Hydrating Primer. Again, I haven't tried this either. Wow, my exposure is so high. Sorry if you can't see that. It is so wet. It's like a gel. Oh, it smells so good. Kind of like tanning lotion, almost. Yeah, it smells amazing though. And it looks to be a little bit smoothing, at least on the back of my hand. Huh. Okay, I'll take it. Now, what is next? 
Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment. I'm pretty sure I just got this in my last Ipsy, or maybe the Ipsy before that. I'm not sure. It's their Super Mud though, and I remember talking about it because I got a cleanser, and I was like, oh, this mask will be perfect. Now I have a Glam Glow mask to go with my Glam Glow cleanser. I don't remember what video that was, but I think this is a duplicate. Or it came in BoxyCharm previously. So that's four products. Let's see what the fifth is. Fenty Beauty. Stunna lip paint in the shade Unlocked. These Stunna lip paints are so good. If you haven't tried one and you like lipsticks that last and you want it to have that lasting power like all day, these lipsticks are the way to go. Oh, that color. That is a gorgeous pink. Wow. Okay, I've got to swatch this on the back of my hand. Guys, look at that shade. Oh my gosh. That is so beautiful. That would look amazing on someone with really deep skin. That would just pop beautifully. Holy cow, I had that on my hand for literally less than a minute and I still have like a pink swatch line across my hand. So you know that's gonna stick around for a while. So that is it from the, oh, there's something else. That means there's six items in this bag this time. There are never six items in the regular glam bag. What is it? It is KVD Vegan Beauty Cake Pencil Intensely Rich Long Wear Eyeliner. I think I have this or I've tried it or something, but I really don't remember what it's like. Really, really soft, goes on very creamy, and it smoothed the pencil out super fast. So it'll be easy to keep it sharp as you apply liner. It's a pretty solid black liner. I mean, so far so good, you know? Okay, so there's all six items from the glam bag. Now let's see what's inside the glam bag plus. Just gonna pull the first item off the top because it feels like there's a lot of stuff in here still. Wobbly! Looks like a palette from who? 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 It is from Beauty For Real Mango Butter Eyeshadow Palette and it's called Golden Hour. So I'm assuming we have warm neutrals with some golds. Just a guess, you know, I don't know if I'm even close or not. That blue, wow, okay. I don't know why I thought there were gonna be more shades in here. It's not a very big palette. I guess I just assumed there would be more, but it looks like we've got three mattes, shadow, horizon, and a blaze, and then everything else is a shimmer. So that's definitely gonna be more of one of those fill the crease and pop a shimmer on the lid really quick kind of looks, and I'm not opposed to that at all. Next is brushes. MOTD Cosmetics. Mood of the day cosmetics. See what brushes they put in this little brush set. I love it when brush companies or companies that make brushes include the little nets with them because it's so important to reshape your brushes after they dry so that you don't lose the shape they've got. And these help maintain that a lot. So it looks like we've got a supermodel sculpt brush, but it's gonna be, yeah, it's like a bullet contour brush, essentially. Then we've got the get cheeky with it brush, assuming it's a blush brush, yes. It is a targeted blush brush. And then last is the Golden Gem Bronzer brush. Big and fluffy. Ooh, I like that it has a point to it. This is more of a brush that I would use right here and press loose powder under my eye. But I don't mind trying to use it as a bronzer. Just testing it out, seeing what happens. You never know, you know. Nice. And these brushes are actually pretty weighty. They're not luxury feeling, but they're not affordable feeling as I throw one in the floor. Next is... Refreshments, pillowy shave cream. I actually got this same shave cream in the Ipsy from four or five months ago. I don't remember for sure. It was loaded down with Refreshments products. I'll leave it linked up here if I can find which one it is. Either way though, that had the razors and shaving cream in that box. And I love that I have a refill now because I use this shaving cream for body shaving every single time I shave. It is the best shaving cream I've found so far for body shaving. So happy to have a refill. Next is Wander Beauty Baggage Claim Gold Eye Masks. <laughs> Baggage Claim, really? <laughs> you can put a tag on my under eye bags most days. So Golden Eye Masks. I haven't used Wander Beauty products in a few years, so I'm excited to give this a shot and see what they're like. See if they're good. And what else is there? 
Juice Beauty, I know that packaging. SPF 30 Oil-Free Moisturizer. Thank you, Ipsy, thank you, Juice. I always need an SPF moisturizer. Always, never fails. It is my guaranteed every day, even if I have no time for any other step of my skincare routine, an SPF moisturizer is my finishing step. I'm gonna have to use one every day, so I always welcome SPF moisturizers. Anyway, let's move on and see what else there is. There is something else. A big something else. What is this? It says, A Soleil Ex Ipsy. I still don't know what it is though. It looks like a, oh, it's that, whatever that is. I think there's a name for whatever this is, isn't there? It's not like a skirt, but it's like a skirt. We hope you love this A Soleil Ex Ipsy sarong. It's a sarong. So these grew out of a desire to make a chic wearable cover up for any adventure under the sun. Okay, so now I have a sarong. If I, ever need one. I'll probably end up using this for something other than what it's intended for. It's so soft and fluffy. Oh, I just want to take a nap with it. <laughs> Although I probably should wash it before I continue to rub it all over my face. Let's see what else there is. I think we're down to the Glam Bag Plus bag and that's it. Yes, I'm pretty sure that's all. Okay, so now the Glam Bag Plus bag is, oh, it's from the same sarong. Oh, no, I guess not. They just have a sun as their logo, so I saw the sun and I was thinking maybe it was the same. It's not though. Now this is a perfect combo. Putting all like your minis and stuff in here and then putting this inside of here, that's a perfect combo because this accents this so well. That's it for the items in the box. This time it says discover yourself on the inside. So it looks like obviously this time there's enough products to do a full face of makeup. Not a full face of makeup, but a face of makeup. I can use the products to create a look is what I'm saying. But I'm going to start with using these Wonder Beauty Baggage Claim Gold Eye Masks because I'm really curious if I'm going to like them or not. Then I'll move in to the SPF 30 Oil Free Moisturizer, use the primer. So I'm going to kind of do a little skincare routine essentially here first. And normally when it comes to skincare products like this, nine times out of 10, you're not going to be able to tell too much of a difference immediately, but I'm still going to go ahead and do a before and after for you guys with the masks, just so you can see, you know, if there is a difference, you'll see it. If there's not, you'll see it. So here are my under eyes before the eye masks. Hereditarily dark as always. Okay, now that I've got the golden aluminum foil under my eyes, or so it looks like, it says to leave on for 10 to 15 minutes. So I will see you guys in 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes, so let's take these little babies off. I'm gonna zoom you guys in and see if there's any kind of difference. I don't see one right now. So here's the amazingly subtle difference. I don't really know if I see any difference. Looks the same. They feel much more hydrated though, I will say that. Now I did go ahead and cleanse any skincare that I had on my face off so that I could just have a fresh face to go in with this SPF 30 oil-free moisturizer from Juice Beauty. It says to shake before each use and apply to face, neck, and top of hands. Probably gonna be avoiding the top of hands today because I don't really need that, I don't think. Maybe if I was actually starting my day, that would make sense, but I am in fact nearing the end of my day instead. So let's go ahead and squeeze some of this out and see if it makes me look like Casper. Definitely thick like an SPF. Oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. Oh, and I forgot to shave today, so this is gonna get all gunked up in my hair. Oh, I'm so excited. Well, looks like at this point you can probably call me Greybeard, because I am Greybearded. That doesn't smell very good either. So I guess it's worth noting that if you're gonna use this as an SPF before makeup and you have a beard, you're gonna need to blend out the SPF a little bit to get rid of the white cast. Hmm. But now it's gone completely. I can still smell it though, and it does not smell very good, like I said already. So I'm actually gonna take a little bit of my Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day Setting Spray in the scent Dream Sickle and use a little bit of that so I can make my face smell like an orange sickle instead. Oh, that smells so good. By the way, if you guys need any kind of restock or you wanna try out Gerard Cosmetics, there's a link in the description down below if you wanna jump on that and take advantage of it. It is affiliated, so I do make a commission from it. So thank you in advance if you do use it. 
If not, that's okay. Just go to GerardCosmetics.com and you can try anything you want that way too. Now let's try the Tarte Quench Hydrating Primer. I gotta admit, it was pretty beautiful in the back of my hand. I just hope it's the same case on my face. Can't believe how much of a white cast that SPF left. Okay, now I feel hydrated. Now it looks like everything else is meant for the eyes, except the brushes, of course. So I'm just going to use the brushes off camera, go ahead and do all of my face makeup, get it all done and ready so that we can jump into the Beauty For Real Golden Hour palette. So give me just a second for you guys, and I will be right back. As you can see, I've gotten all of my face makeup on. I have primed my eyes using my Dry Cosmetics Clean Canvas Eye Base in the shade Medium. And now let's create a golden hour on these eyes. Now, like I said before, this eye look, at least for the base of the eye look, is pretty much going to be like a cookie cutter look, just your staple neutral crease. However, I am going to change it up just a little bit and add a tiny bit of warmth to it. So to begin, I'm going to take this Morphe X Jeffree Star JS5 Fluffy Diffuse Blending Brush and go into the shade Horizon. Wow, a lot of kickback in that shade. Okay, so I'm just going to take Horizon. Ooh, wait, I'm so used to doing my eyeshadow first that I never tap off my brush. My face is done now though, so I am gonna tap off my brush, just in case, so it doesn't get way too crazy, way too fast. So I'm just gonna start taking this shade and packing it on the outer portion of the crease. I'm also gonna go ahead and pull this all the way around to the inner corner. And then just use some windshield wiper motions to pull through the outer crease to the inner crease. While I'm at it, I'm also going to pull Horizon down and around onto the lower lash line just so I can sort of follow suit with the color story and just continue it on. Now with Horizon applied and blended out, I'm going to take a blaze, the warmer terracotta e orange kind of color and just add that right on top of Horizon and sort of blend it out just to warm up the overall tone of the eye look. This orange is beautiful. It makes it look like it's glowing. I apologize if you guys hear a vacuum cleaner running. Mark is downstairs vacuuming and I'm not about to stop him. Not at all. He can continue to vacuum as much as he wants. Thanks, babe. Orange is built up. Now I'm gonna use the Morphe M507 really tiny pointed blender brush and I'm gonna go into the shade Shadow now and I'm gonna create a shadow in my crease. This time I'm just gonna stick to the outer corner of the crease though. I don't wanna blow it out too far. Since I'm gonna go in with that black eyeliner, I'm already gonna have quite a bit of darkness on the lower lash line. So I'm gonna hold off. I'm also going ahead and adding that shadow shade right along the lower lash line, sort of tight lining with it just a little bit, just so that depth is a little more cohesive. Oh, that's so good. Oh, yes. I'm thinking that, which is the shade Reflection, by the way, or perhaps Golden Ray, because it's golden. You know what? We're going to use both. That's what's gonna happen. So I'm just gonna use this Morphe flat brush. I don't remember what collection it was from. Sweet Oasis, maybe? I don't remember. But I'm gonna take the shade Golden Ray right here, and I'm gonna put that ray of goldenness all over my lid. Well, if it'll pick up with this brush, it's not picking up at all. Hmm, maybe if I push the brush in instead of pull across? Eh, that's better. So needless to say, you should probably break up the shadow just a little bit before you try to swipe the brush across it. But since I did have to do that, I'm definitely gonna have to spray the brush. I know I'm gonna have tons of fallout from the shade if I don't. So again, I'm gonna use my Slay All Day Setting Spray in Dream Sickle and just give it a little spritz and stick it on my eye. Well, that's really pretty, albeit very splotchy. I guess wetting the brush with that shade is not a good idea because that went on like a chunky glitter. Instead, we're gonna try a finger application and see what happens. Oh, that's what was necessary apparently. So I'm just gonna make sure that gets applied all the way across the lid except for right at the inner corner. Now with the Lunar Beauty LBE 7, this is a tiny, tiny flat brush. I'm gonna use the shade Reflection and put that both on the inner corner of the lid and the brow bone. Ow. 
And last but not least, I'm gonna use this Morphe M326 brush and now take this shade Infinite right here that I've been dying to go in with since I opened this palette and use that as an inner corner highlight. And I mean like inner corner, inner corner, not just the inner corner of my lid. And this shade is Chunk City. So again, I'm gonna spray it. I just hope it sticks and looks okay. Woo! Okay, that's a little bit crazier than I anticipated. Oops. It is so much darker than I thought it was gonna be. It looks like I just took a blue stamp and jabbed it into my inner corner. I don't think that looks very cute. So naturally, I'm gonna try and fix it with the shade Reflection. I'm just gonna put Reflection right on top and hopefully it will tone that dark blue down just a little bit. I don't know, it does look kind of cool like that, but I feel like it's just missing something. Better. Definitely better. Okay. So now instead of a dark blue, we have more of a tealy green. Why not? And that's it for the eyeshadow. Like I said, quick, easy, beautiful summary look. So now we're going to use the KVD Vegan Beauty Cake Pencil Intensely Rich Long Wear Eyeliner. And I'm just going to use this in the waterline. Ah. There's nothing like a good pitch black liner in the waterline. Now it's time for lashes. I'm gonna go ahead and curl them off camera though, then we'll be right back to try the It Cosmetics Lash Blowout Mascara. The lashes are curled. Now let's see what this mascara looks like. Holy cow! That just brought so much length to my lashes. Okay, that stuff is magical. That's beautiful, guys. I wonder what it'll do for the lower lashes. Eyes are now completely done. And seriously, this mascara is so beautiful. I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you can see my eyes close up because this is just bomb. Do you see how long they look and how voluminous they appear at the roots? I love that part. It would look even better if I was to take the black liner along the upper lash line and smoke that out a little bit. Then it would make the lashes look even more voluminous, even longer, but not today. Now we're going to move on to the Stunna Lip Paint in the shade Unlocked, but I need to find a lip liner that's kind of the same color as this, or at least close, and map out my lip line before I put this on. So give me just a second to do that. I found a lip liner that was sort of kind of close. I found a lip liner that was uh, sort of kind of close. It's the uh, Buxom Plump Line Lip Liner in the shade Femme Fatale. It's mostly pink, but with just a little bit of purple. And I thought maybe the purple would add a little bit of depth to make it closer to this deep pink. It didn't. It's not a very close match, but it's okay. I feel like the paint is strong enough. It's probably going to cover it up anyway. So here goes nothing. That is so pigmented. I think it's safe to say I definitely have been sleeping on the Stunna Lip Paints. It was a lot more wet than I anticipated, but holy cow, the pigmentation and the dry down is beautiful. Oh, and that was the very last product. So here is my look using July Stay Golden Ipsy Glam Bag. What do you guys think of the look and the products? Let me know down in the comments. You guys know I always love to have a conversation with you, so let's talk about it. I think I quite love this Stay Golden Ipsy Month. I think it's perfect for summer. Everything is focused on just giving you that beautiful, effortless summer golden glow. And I love that. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, it would mean the world to me if you wanted to give me a thumbs up just to let me know that you did. Also, if you like this look and you want to see more looks like them, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and TikTok. My username is the same for everything. It's just Christopher JMUA. And if you gain nothing out of this video, if you gain nothing out of any of my videos, please at least gain this. And that is to always remember and to never forget that you are absolutely beautiful. And I love you guys. Bye.